head back to Monday when the Grey Cup arrived in style in Hamilton for a week to celebrate the Canadian Football League and that trophy to be handed out on Sunday at Tim Hortons Field. The man who will do that, we're happy to have back on the show, CFL Commissioner Randy Ambrosi, and you brought a friend with you. I did. Great to see you, Randy. It's nice to be here. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, let's get uh, let's get to it because when how much do you look forward to handing out this every Grey Cup Sunday? Well, it's it's such a unique moment, and I think you look at the faces of the players. There's just pure joy, and you know that that's the moment that uh, you know their name is now going to be forever etched on this trophy. They all I they all understand the significance of this trophy and and it's there forever it's that indelible imprint yeah. that you can never take away it's the coolest moment you hand over and it's like literally a moment of pure joy and handing it to the players and handing it to because the players because some leagues do not do that they hand it to the owners yeah. but you guys hand it to the players because they're the ones that won the game that's it and uh, you know that's a nice tradition as well and, and it's not that that tradition might not change at some point right. depending on circumstances all i know is this when you hand to whoever you hand it to ends up having a gigantic smile and yeah. uh, it's a great moment there was a lot of smiles in Niagara Falls last night, CFL Awards. There was a big award that you handed out, your Commissioner's Award to the caretaker of this town, Bob Young. Yeah, you know, for me, I, I, uh, I said to Bob as I shook his hand, I said, but oh, Bob, this is truly an honor for me, and, uh, and I meant it. You know, he has done so much for the Ticats, so much for the city. He is such a gracious owner, and he means it when he says he's the caretaker. It was just, for me, a great moment. I'm so happy for him. And uh, what a great football town Hamilton is, and it's a great host for Great Cup. Well, listen, <laughs> we were talking off camera. They have upped the ante for Great Cup Week. Like the amount of the amount of events, activities, the music side of things. Was this in the? What, this is what they wanted when they first pitched it back in '21 that they couldn't achieve because of COVID. Yeah, and they uh, every team as we have kind of rolled out the new Great Cup model. Every team is responsible if they want the game to put in a bid. This was a special bid because this was all about raising the bar. This was all about attracting fans from every corner of this country to come here because it was going to be big. And I think what's going to happen now is uh, they just like a launch pad. Uh, mm -hmm. Great. It, it, they really have elevated Grey Cup, the music festival, the festival today. Fan Central, the Armory, everything that's going on. You got Santa Claus coming to Grey Cup. You know you're big when you get Santa Claus coming to Grey Cup. And uh, yeah, though they've done a great job. It's a real, a real hats off to the Ticats. Okay, um, you did the State of the League with the national media on Tuesday. Today you're doing it with the fans. What are you, what are you expecting from the fans? What are you most proud of? Let's say the, from this 2023 season. Well, you got to go back to to February, I guess January, February, when uh, you know we we decided we would buy the Alouettes back from uh, from the present the, the previous owners, and when I got a phone call from Pierre Carl Palado, and Pierre Carl said, "Randy, I want to own the Alouettes," and I said, "Well, Pierre, we're going to run a we're going to run a, a, a an investment banking process." He said, "That's fine." He said, "We'll participate in that, but I I want to own the Alouettes," and and that moment. Uh, where we brought in another phenomenal owner, I think changed our league for the better. And, you know, he now joins this amazing group from, you know, Amar Doman and Murray Edwards. You know, you go all the way across, you know, Bob Young, Stelco, uh, Scott Mitchell, yeah. Jim Lawson, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, Roger Greenberg and John Ruddy. It's the strongest ownership group we've ever had in the league. So that I'm, I'm very excited about. But what's happening around the energy in our major markets has just been so phenomenal. But the TV ratings numbers are probably the part that I'm, if you ask me one thing that I'm just so excited about, 25 to 54, which is the critical category in entertainment, we're up 34% this year. We really are having a renaissance. It's been well, it, the owners have invested heavily in our future and now we're seeing the dividends paying off. We only got 30 seconds. What could you do better? Well, we just keep working at execution. I think for me, that's the thing I'm reminded all the time is we've got a great plan. We have to execute against that plan and be very focused, very disciplined. Don't try to do more than we should do. Do exactly what we should do, exactly what we promised the governors we would do. So from this point, no new strategies. We've got a good strategy. Let's just focus on execution. Appreciate you being here. It's great to be can here. I, can you. I get an Oski Weeby from you? <laughs> I, I think that's a no. <laughs> Oh, Husky Wee Wee! Husky Wee! Ah!
Holy Mackinac, <laughs> Tigers, eat them rock. Even if they're not in the game, we appreciate you being here, spending time. I know you have an extremely busy schedule, so thank you very, very much. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the game on Sunday. Thank you.